Good morning guys, welcome back to Slovenia now. This isn't quite the shot I wanted. It's currently Sunday here, which means it's Sunday everywhere. That's irrelevant, it's very, very quiet of a Sunday in Slovenia because pretty much everywhere closes. So I thought I'll come down to the lake one final shot before I move on to Ljubljana later on today. But as you can probably tell, the weather is absolutely horrendous and it's starting to thunder and lighten. So I'm probably best trying to get back towards the hostel, get a coffee before I go on to Ljubljana. Going to the football tonight, that's the whole purpose of this video. First time I've been back to the football since like December of last year, so like eight months. And then it will only be like the second time in 18 months I'm going to a football match. Big derby here in Slovenia. But as I said, I hope the weather does improve. Not so much when I'm in the stadium, it doesn't really matter. Covered, it's actually just getting to the stadium itself. But yeah, I'm not staying under this tree much longer. Right, welcome back to Ljubljana after about 30 minutes of waiting at the bus stop there, I think. Fingers crossed I've caught a break from the rain. I'm gonna head into the centre, go to the hostel, drop these bags off. Because they're rather inconvenient walking around with two bags at once. And then hopefully head out back into the city. That's providing the rain stays off because that was awful on the way here. The driver couldn't even see at one point he literally had to stop. But onto the hostel map. I actually really annoyed the bus driver then on the way from Bled to here, which at the time I didn't really know why the bus from Ljubljana to Bled was seven euros. I presumed it would be the same on the way back. So I gave him a 20, which isn't ideal. Could have given him a 10. But he was just getting really frustrated. Turns out of a weekend you get like 75% on tickets, so it was actually one euro sixty. And that's why. But I went to know that wasn't the case last time I was here. I don't know how long it is gonna be the case for, but it's kind of understandable that he was annoyed to be fair. But yeah, one euro sixty for like over an hour bus ride from Bled to Ljubljana over the weekend. That's it's crazy. <laughs> I never even realised. If I realised, I would have gave him less. I had a five note, I didn't have a ten. But yeah, he, he wasn't pleased to say the least. Slightly random but cool interaction back there. I just met like an American guy who's been cycling all over the country. And he told me he knows the people who run the hostel and the dog. So he's giving me a dog treat to give to the dog when I get to the hostel. <laughs> feels good to be back in Ljubljana once again, although I do have to say I'm missing the mountains and scenery of Bled and Kranjsegora. However, the plan for today is the football's at around 20 past 8 tonight, a couple of hours to kill, coffee, some food. The issue with Slovenia on a Sunday, as I said before, pretty much everywhere is shut, supermarkets mainly, cafes and restaurants are still open, so I'm going to go and try and find somewhere. Then tomorrow, I'm going to do a bit of a day trip, not too sure where. And then the day after, Tuesday, I actually need to get a COVID test because I will be heading back home. But first, coffee. Really is strange seeing the streets so quiet. I've not actually been into the very main sense part with all the bridges yet. I'm just heading there right now and it does look quite busy. But everywhere else is literally so quiet. Then again, there's nowhere to go on a Sunday, so it's probably not all that surprising. <laughs> Thank you. 
rain really has been non-stop today and when it rains it pours. Thankfully I found some cover this time. I was literally on my way to go and get coffee as well, so maybe this is a sign I'm becoming a bit addicted to coffee. Maybe this is why they tell me not to go and get me third of the day. I don't know if that's actually addicted. How many cups of coffee is classed as too many? Let me know in the comments. But hopefully this goes off soon. I've got about three hours before I have to leave for the match. It's absolutely bouncing down. And rather ironically, you've probably heard in some of them shots literally the next street away. There's like a beach volleyball tournament going on. God knows why they're still playing in this. Coffee sorted, heading back to the hostel now. That sky looks so strange, it's still like that over there, it's like really grey, blue sky and then white clouds, it's, it's weird. Anyway, football match later, it's like the two biggest teams in Slovenia, two big rivals, Ljubljana and Maribor playing each other. One issue, probably won't be able to take this camera, I'll have to take me a smaller one. And I hope they accept the UK's version of the vaccine, otherwise they probably won't let me actually do need to be vaccinated or have a test to get it. Fingers crossed they accept it though. Otherwise, I'll be coming straight back and not watching the match. <laughs> right, so I'm just waiting for the bus to the stadium. I think I'm at the right place. I think I know which bus I need to go on. I'm not 100% sure though, so fingers crossed we get there. I just have this weird feeling that once I do get there, they're going to turn me away because they don't recognise English vaccine certificates. But Fingers crossed. Right, just off the bus heading towards the stadium now. A bit of context, Ljubljana are playing Maribor, as I said before, two big teams here in Slovenia. Liverpool played Maribor in the Champions League a few years ago, so I am obviously supporting Ljubljana, and I'm in the Ljubljana end. Don't really know the situation with the teams very well, or even if there's going to be away fans, but hopefully it's a good atmosphere. Anyway, heading to the stadium, and it is a very, very nice stadium. I'll show you when I get there, obviously. What I would say is, apart from one fan on the bus, then I've not seen a single person on there. It's only half an hour till kick off, though, so hopefully everyone's inside. But... Yeah. I've just got absolutely drenched leaving the stadium. I'm running here, all this warping and it started raining. So I ran and I am absolutely drenched. Hopefully I've not missed the bus. It's literally it was meant to it's meant to be in, in a minute. Hopefully it's not came early in here. It's amazing to be back in a football stadium though. It wasn't full but I reckon there's maybe a couple of thousand there, maybe five thousand, something like that. And it was a good game of football in the end, second half was great. It's just nice to be back in the stadium and get a bit of normality back. Right, so it's the next day. I was going to kind of do this review after the match last night, but as you would have seen, I got drenched, so I just thought, I'll leave it to today. It's nicer. Well, it's not raining at the moment anyway. It was nice to be back in the football stadium last night. Like, I was expecting it to be more busy, obviously, given it being a derby, but I think that was largely down to, like, the quite strict entry requirements they had to have. They use this thing over here. I think it's called, like, RVT, which is either recovered, vaccinated, or tested. And if you get the test, it's got to be within like 24 or 48 hours. But it was just nice to be back inside the football stadium, get that feeling back. And it's just made me look forward even more now to being back on an Anfield in a few weeks' time. But yeah, it was just nice to be back. Mm -hmm.